Today we're going to show you how to design and animate a progress bar in Filmora. I'm Sanjeet from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. If you're watching this video, it's because you want to learn how to design and animate a progress bar in Filmora instead of using these 200 plus options that Filmora has designed for users like you. You heard that right, 200 plus progress bars already animated for you to simply drag and drop onto the timeline to save you time. But hey, it seems like you want to spend that time doing it from scratch and we want to teach you how. Let's dive right in. Let's start with a horizontal loading bar. Go to the drawing tool and draw a rectangle. This is going to be our base color, so let's leave it white and let's get rid of the stroke. Copy and paste it above. Change the color to your desire. In our case, green to show the progress. Lower the scale in both X and Y to make it slightly smaller than our base color. Right click on green and press create compound clip. Now go to Mask and select Linear. It is commonly used that the progress bar flows left to right, so to animate it this way, rotate the mask to 180 degrees. Go to your start point, activate the keyframes for position, and move the X value so that the bar disappears. Then move to the end point and change the X value so the green bar is fully visible. Play, adjust your speed, and there you go. This, I think, is the most basic visual representation of a progress bar. Now let's get a little bit more creative and make it look better, and also design and animate a circular loading bar. So, to have different speeds, simply add more keyframes in between the start point and end point, and adjust the values so it progresses as you like it. You can also round the corners, or for example, if you want to do the effect we did at the beginning of the video, simply use AI Portrait on the clip you want and use a circular mask to remove the rest of your body. Now, animate the position so it reveals the progress bar. And if you want to make a circular loading bar, follow the next steps. Use the drawing tool to create a circle, place it in the middle of the frame for better reference. Remove the fill and increase the thickness to the size that works for you. Now, right click on the clip and press Create Compound Clip. Drag and drop the crop effect and change the value of the left setting to 50. Now, let's create a linear mask and keyframe the rotation. Go to the start point and change the value to 180. Move the playhead bar to the end point and add a second keyframe. This time, change the value to 0. If you want to create the full circle, then copy and place this clip right next to the one we already created. Delete the keyframes so that there is no animation. Now copy and paste the first clip and paste it above the second one. Go to Crop Effect and this time, change the value of the right setting to 50 and the left setting back to 0. Go to the Mask Animation and change the value of the first keyframe to 0 and the last keyframe to minus 180. Now create your scene around it and there you have it. Pretty cool, right? So these were some of the basics. Be creative and have fun with it. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on the channel. Keep creating and I'll see you next time.